Auto-inflammatory diseases include a group of hereditary monogenic disorders, uh, which are caused by dysregulation of innate immunity and characterized by uh, protein clinical features recurring with variable rhythmicity and involving skin, uh, serosal membranes, joints, or gastrointestinal tube. In combination with uh, um, increased uh, acute phase reaction and uh, um, multicytokine overexpression. Uh, a peculiar, striking feature of auto inflammatory disorders is uh, the impressive response to cytokine inhibitors. Most of these uh, disorders start in the pediatric age uh, with fever as a prominent clinical sign. However, a um, su substantial number of patients may present a delayed onset of disease so that a uh, definite diagnostic uh, establishment is uh, uh, only in adulthood. Most of these diseases um, can be diagnosed relying on patient's clinical history, uh, demonstration of increased acute phase reaction during an inflammatory attack, and possibly genetic confirmation. The prototype of auto-inflammatory disorders is familial Mediterranean fever, which is largely starting in the pediatric age. However, an advanced age uh, is not an exclusion criterion for diagnosis. Adult onset of uh, familial Mediterranean fever is uh, characterized by uh, a milder phenotype uh, and is almost always related to low penetrance mutations in the gene uh, causing this disorder. We have only to, uh, we have to consider two uh, tumor necrosis factor receptor associated periodic syndrome which is the most common autosomal dominant autosom mm, auto-inflammatory condition, which may start in adulthood too. And this condition can uh, display um, atypical clinical signs, such as refractory idiopathic uh, pericarditis, even in the absence of a clear positive family history. There is only uh, the, the possibility of uh, uh, considering another condition which is really difficult to diagnose in adulthood, which is mevalonate deficiency syndrome, which has uh, unusual onset during the first five years of life. We need also to consider cryopyrin associated periodic syndrome, which uh, uh, can start in adulthood with uh, milder clinical signs, mainly related to, to the skin. Several diagnostic scores have been created to help clinicians in the diagnostic identification of these uh, uh, disorders and to optimize the general access of these patients to genetic testing. 